Hey everyone, Lewis here for Pixel Surplus, and today we're going to be learning how to create the neon text effect in Adobe Photoshop. Let's jump in and have some fun. For this tutorial, I'm going to be using two different fonts that I've downloaded from Pixel Surplus. The sans serif I'll be using today is called Wavy. This free futuristic display font is perfect for our neon look, but can also go really well with any gaming, technology or crypto related projects that you might have. Definitely check this one out. The script I'll be using is Summer Faith Signature Script. This attractive flowing signature script features dramatic capitals and natural lowercase characters. It also has a huge selection of ligatures with authentic handwritten style. It's going to be perfect for signature logos, branding or stationery but today we're going to use it for our neon text effect. If you like the look of these fonts or want to follow along at home, head to the description below and click the links that will take you to Pixel Surplus. We're also going to be using a picture of a concrete wall as our background. Links to this photo will also be in the description below. I'm going to start by opening up Photoshop and creating a file that's 1920 by 1080. Now that I can see my canvas, I'm going to load in the photo of the concrete wall to use as my background for my neon text. I'm going to scale the photograph so that it covers the entire canvas. Now we need to reduce the brightness of our photograph. So with our photo selected, head to image, adjustments, brightness and contrast, and reduce the brightness to minus 110 and the contrast to 50. Next, we're going to create a new layer above our photograph and we're going to fill this layer with black. So make sure that black is selected in your color picker and hit G on your keyboard to access your paint bucket tool. Then click on the canvas, filling it with black. Now head to our layers panel and let's turn the opacity of our black layer down to about 30%. Finally, Whilst holding shift, select both our image and black layer and hit Ctrl G to group them. Name this group background. Now that our background's complete, I'm going to add the text to our canvas. So hit T on your keyboard to access your type tool and type out neon and change that font to wavy and then in a different text box, type out text effect and change that font to summer faith. Now that you have your two text boxes on your canvas, let's increase the scale and center align them to our artboard. So let's begin by adding our neon text effect to the word neon. Make sure you have the word neon selected in your layers panel Head to the bottom of your layers panel to the add layer style, select that and choose blending options. We're going to need to turn the word neon from a fill to outlines. So first head to the blending options panel and reduce the fill opacity from 100% to 0%. Next, turn on the stroke in the strokes panel I'm going to be using a size of eight pixels. I'm going to position my stroke on the outside of my text and I'm going to have my opacity at 80%. Finally, for my fill color, I'm just going to use a vibrant pink. Feel free to play around and choose whichever colors match your design. Now that we have our text as a stroke, we're going to play with the fun neon glow effects. Inside the Layers Styles panel, select Inner Glow and change the blending mode from Normal to Linear Dodge Add. I'm going to have the opacity of my structure at 80%. The color is going to be matching my vibrant pink that I'm using for my neon sign. I'm going to increase the size of the element to 40 pixels, change the contours to the bottom left contour and finally increase the range to 
Use these settings as a rough draft for your design. Feel free to play around with all of the sliders until you find the setting that gives you the best neon text effect. Next, we're going to click on Outer Glow and we're going to change our blending mode to Linear Dodge Add our Opacity to 80% using our pink neon color with our spread at 14% and the size at 40%. And finally, the contour, I'm using the bottom left contour and having a range of 100%. Now I've created my glow for the word neon, I'm going to add that really bright element of the center of the neon tubing. So what I'm going to do is select neon in my artboard, hit Control J to create a copy. Then I'm going to turn off the inner and outer glow for my new copy and double click on the stroke. I'm going to decrease the size of my stroke from eight to six pixels and change the color from pink to white with an opacity at 80 percent finally let's select both our neon and neon copy in our layers panel hit ctrl g to create a group and name this layer neon now let's perform our neon text effect on our second piece of type Begin by selecting the text effect text in your layers panel, heading to the bottom and hitting add layer style and choosing color overlay. For this piece of type, I'm going to use a light blue color and I'm going to use an opacity of 80%. Next, I'm going to select inner glow in my layer styles panel. I'm going to use the blending mode linear dodge add with an opacity of 100% and using the blue that I'm using for my color overlay. I'm going to make sure my size is about 24 pixels. My contour is the bottom left. And finally, my range is at 100%. Next, I'm going to select outer glow. I'm going to change the blending mode to linear dodge add with an opacity at 80% and using the blue that I used for my color overlay. I'm going to have the size at 24 pixels, the contour using the bottom left, and finally range at 100%. Like I mentioned before, these numbers might not match the size and scale of your text. So play around until you find something that works best for your design. And just like with our first piece of text, we're going to select our text in our layers panel, hit Ctrl J on our keyboard to create a copy, turn off the inner glow and outer glow, and select color overlay, changing it from blue to white, and have an opacity of 80%. Finally, select both the text effect layers in your layers panel, hit Ctrl G to group them, and name it text effect. Now we're going to add that finishing touch, which makes it look like our neon lights are glowing onto our concrete background. To do this, create a new layer in your layers panel and place it above your background layer. With your new layer selected, hit B on your keyboard to access your brush tool, head to the brush panel and choose the soft round brush with a size of about 300 pixels and a hardness of 0%. Now I'm going to use the Alt key to access the eyedropper tool and I'm going to take a sample of the color pink that I used for my word neon. Using the brush tool, I'm just going to paint in each character until I have a bright pink glow around the word neon. I'm going to perform the same action for my blue text. So hit the Alt key to access my eyedropper tool and then use the brush to paint around my blue neon text. 
And finally, to make the glow really look great on the background, head to your layers panel, make sure that your layer is selected and head to the effects, changing it from normal to soft light. And there you have it, how to turn any font into an awesome neon text effect in Adobe Photoshop. Like and subscribe and ring the little bell so you don't miss any of our future videos. All of the fonts and photography that we used in today's tutorial can be found in the description below, along with the link to Pixel Surplus. Pixel Surplus is home to free fonts, textures, mockups, and so much more, as well as the best font bundles on the internet. Premium fonts at 90% off. Like, I don't know what else to say. You need to get over there right now and check it out. Thanks, and have a great day, everyone.